Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the video class um, for tonight. We're going to start in a moment, okay? Uh, first of all, I, I'm seeing that uh, that you are sharing uh, well information there in the WhatsApp group. That's good. And, and I want to ask you, here we have to Mr. Ramirez and Ms. Campos. I want to ask you if you have any question uh, about um, the exercise that we have on the platform. Sorry, teacher. I, I, I don't understand you. Oh, okay, okay. I was asking you if you have any question for me uh, about the uh, sentences, I mean, the exercises that you, ha that you have there in the platform. Ah. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Welcome. I'm sorry. Thank you. Teacher, really, I have many problems with the platform, but I am, I am um, tried, tried and tried, uh, but I have many problems. Okay, we can solve it right now. Don't worry. Uh, tell me, what are those problems that you have? For example... Number three. Give me one moment. Sure. The number three. And the number three, three point four. The exercise uh, no, number one. Um, do you want that I I I share my screen? Mm -hmm. No. Yes, yes. No. You close you close the option. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to uh, to do this. Okay. Try it now. Wait a minute. Yes, that's okay. Okay. Here is. Here is. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Okay. I In mean this the part, all is crap. All is bad. <laughs> I cry. Um, oh, okay, okay. Let's see what is happening there. First of all, we have to read the instruction. It, it says that uh, you must complete the conversation with wood in the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses. Some will be in the form of infinitive and other just the verbs. Uh -huh. um, would you prefer? It, yeah, well, I, have a, I have a problem with the verbs times. 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think. Um, the, first, the, the first thing uh, that we have to remember is that when we use prefer, we have to use the infinitive. And how we can construct the infinitive? Would what is the infinitive of take? Take. No, the infinitive of no. take. Take is take. Okay, no. take. take. Yeah. But remember, exactly, try it now. Try it. Okay. okay. <laughs> there you have. And this. There you have. Okay. Try okay. try that. And with it's the, the same in all. It depend depend the, the the sentences. For instance, in the second one, if we use prefers, we are going to use two. Okay. Uh, in the number two. Remember, if we use rather, we are going to use only the base form of the verb. What is the base form of the verb of learn? Learn. Okay. Okay, and then okay. what about the, the, set, the number two? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, you have it, you have it complete. Yeah. What about the number two V? Okay. I think I prefer is the basic form to take to study. Infinitive, okay. Infinitive. If we use prefer, mm -hmm. it's infinitive. If we use rather, it, it is the base form of the verb. Okay. okay. Go ahead. And the third, the third, I if you needed to learn a new skill. Would you prefer to attend a class or or have have a private tutor? Exactly. Okay. Okay. Very good. And the three B. The number three. Mm -hmm. I prefer sign up for a what is class? For class. Uh -huh. For class. Class. Okay. I prefer sign up for a uh, class. Uh -huh. To the, the infinity. Mm, which one we're using? Rather or prefer? We are using. What are we using there? Which one? I prefer. We're sign using rather or prefer? Prefer. Prefer? No. Read the sentence. I rather sign up sign up for a class than. Mm -hmm. no, Done. I don't know. I I prefer sign up. I prefer. Read it again. Prefer. No, listen, we are using rather or prefer. Are we using rather or prefer? Rather. Rather. Okay, what kind of verb are we going to use? If we use rather, what kind of verb are we going to use? Are we going to use infinitive or the base form of the verb? The base form. Okay, do it. I prefer mm -hmm. the base. Okay, the basic do it. Form. okay. No, if we yeah. use, listen, if we use rather, no, means in the number three, a V, it's higher because we are using rather. If we use prefer, we are going to use the infinitive. Okay. If I use prefer, I'm going to use to higher. But if I use rather, we are going to use just the very form of the verb. In this case, is higher. Okay. Okay. What about the number four? The number four. Would you rather? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you rather? Which one? Is the same that number three? The this is in the number three exactly. Join. Okay. And the last one, for me. I'd rather, 
Are you mm -hmm. rather to sign? No. To sign. No. Okay. No. No. Okay. <laughs> to sign. Okay. okay. Try now. Okay. There you have. You have Thank 25. you very much. <laughs> okay. Very thank you very much. Uh, is anyone else who wants to answer any other of the exercises? Uh, Mr. Ramirez? The, the uh, okay, to... okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, Miss, can you stop sharing, Miss Campos? Okay, give me one moment, please. One moment, one moment. Yep. Uh, okay, Mr. Ramirez, you can share uh, your exercise too. Mm, okay, let me give me a moment. Yeah, yes, I don't worry. To... Okay, okay, don't worry. Looking for. I can find. <laughs> you can find I it. Don't, no, I don't remember what is what is the answer. The oh, okay. Okay, but but if you if you find it later, just let me know. Okay. Uh, okay. I will ask to Mr. Castillo. Mr. Castillo, do you have any exercise that you want to solve? Number five point eight. Five point eight. Uh, can you share? Can you share the your I mean your screen? Yes, the problem okay. is in, uh, I prove that uh, we'll be inventing, we'll have invented, we'll uh, invent. I don't know what is the correct because I to prove the, the, the different answer and I never true. Okay, okay, uh, mister, share, share uh, the screen and let's see. It's a number four and uh, say the a statement. Okay, I will share it, future. I will share it. Give me a second. Do you mean section four exercise? In the section, section five, five ah, section. point. Okay, section five. Uh-huh. Point eight. 5.8. Okay, give yes. me a second. Give me a second. Uh, sentence and number four. Okay, sentence number four. I'm going to share to you my screen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Oh, I see. Um, there is a mistake there with that exercise. Um, just give me a second. I'm going to connect my computer because I have a low battery. Give me a second. Um, well, this is the exercise that you are telling me. And here I have the answers. The thing is we have a problem here, okay, with this uh, exercise. But try to try to um, write with fine because uh, the, correct one, the correct sentence is invent. I mean, the correct answer is uh, using invent, but uh, we have a mistake here in this, in this exercise. And if you want it uh, to be correct, what you're going to do is use will find, okay? Will okay. find. Never, never in my, in my imagination found the, the correct answer. No, no, the thing is, the, this is a mistake, mister. Uh, yeah. This is a mistake. The thing is, yes. it's not, it's not, uh, that's not correct, okay? That's not correct. Uh, this is just if you want to, uh, 
if you want to send that exercise, but the correct option is using invent, okay? Sometimes in the, in the future, a scientist will invent, okay, will invent a machine that, that transmit all, uh, all thoughts, okay? That's the correct answer, but uh, the, well, the exercise it's wrong because the answer that we have here is we'll find and that's incorrect. We have to okay. use, we'll invent. But if you want it, if you want to send that exercise and, and you want a green check, okay, just write, we'll find here, okay, we'll find. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, very good. Um, is anyone else who wants to, who wants to teacher. share? Teacher, I found, I found the exercise. Oh, okay, okay. Sir, Mr. Ramirez, uh, I will stop sharing. Give me a second. Okay, there. Please share with us uh, that exercise. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, the number five. Ah, and stain. Yeah. But I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Which exercise? Which section, uh, sir? This is the midterm. The midterm. Oh, yeah. Okay, section B. Or B. Yeah. Give me a second. Let me see what is happening there. Okay, I see, I see here. Uh, sir, sir, there is a problem here in this sentence number five. And the problem is that we are not using pro, uh, plural because we are saying there are, okay? There are several bad stain, just one or more than uh, two. Must be plural, but we can do it. Stains. 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 Because we're using there are. There are several. Ah, uh, okay. Mm, okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Very good. Um, is there any other exercise that you want to check? And the number and the section five. Section five. Down. Which one? Yeah. Down. Down, please, 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 down. No. <laughs> Malo. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, Lea? Here? Uh, down, and the number six, uh, uh, part three. Part yes. Three. It, this, 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 okay, here, here. Thank you, give me one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honor is bad. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, tell me, sir, which one? Which exercise? Thank you. Ready, Lea? Okay. Uh, yes, it's okay. Give me a minute, okay? And this one. Let me see, teacher. Give me a. Yes, yes, don't worry, sir. <gasps> you finished. Yeah. <laughs> you almost finished. That's good. No. Me no. Today I did it. And this one. Section five. And this one. Okay, okay let's see. Oh, the, the same mistake that we that we were discussing. Do you remember? No, I don't remember. I'm fine. <laughs> That, that's correct, okay? You have the answer correct, 
But the thing uh, there is that we have a, a mistake in the platform. Okay, the platform is telling us that we have to use with we'll uh, fine. Okay, with we'll fine. Exactly. Uh, okay. That's a mistake there in the platform. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks, teacher. That's all. Okay, that's all. Uh, well, yeah. Mr. Castillo, you already tell us, right? Okay, next, <laughs> next to resolve mm -hmm. group. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, Mr. Can you stop sharing? Okay, let me give me a moment, please. Okay, okay. Uh, this, this is here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, Mr. Miss Rivas. Miss Rivas, do you have a, any exercise that you want to solve, or maybe you have a problem with it, Miss Rivas? No. Okay, Mr. Lopez, welcome. Uh, Mr. Lopez, do you have any exercise that you want to solve? Maybe you have a problem with, with one sentence or an, one, an answer with one of the exercises that you have there in the platform? No, Mr. teacher, good night. No problem. No, no problem. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, so, well, we're going to start with a class. Um, I'm going to share to you the PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared for you. Um, give me a second. I'm going to do it in a moment. Okay, here we have. Okay, um, well, um, first of all, we're going to see the objective uh, for to, to my class. And it says, in this class, you will listen to a conversation about world history. Notice how they make reference to time in past. Okay, that's what we're going to do uh, this night. We're going to listen to a conversation. But first of all, we are going to discuss a, um, an information here that it's yeah. very important uh, in the construction of sentences. Uh, check it out this quote. It says, you will face many defeats in life, but you never let yourself be defeated. Um, let me see if I want to listen to you. What do you think about this quote? Uh, you can give me um, an opinion about this. Um, let me see who, Miss Rivas. Miss Rivas, are you there? No, Mr. Lopez? Are you there? Uh, I, I agree. The, the, the... Okay, okay, go ahead. And tell us what do you think about this quote? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I agree, I agree in, in, the, in the thing. Um, um, never, never uh, down hands in the, in the, in the life. Uh, only uh, uh, oh, no, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. No worries. Forever uh, and uh, forever and the uh, and the uh, in the sea and the uh, and the high and work and per and, and 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 personal and family. And, mm -hmm. uh, Okay, very don't, good. Don't, don't defeat it. 
Oh, okay, okay, very good. Yes, that this quote is telling us a never give up, even though if you think that things go harder, harder, uh, never give up. Okay, never give up. Uh, you can do it, and you have the the ability to do it. You have the if you decide to do it, you can achieve your goals, things like that. Okay. Uh, let me see, Miss. Uh, Miss Campos, okay? Maybe you can share something okay. with us. It says you will face many defeats in life, but never let yourself be defeated. What do you think about this? I think that in the life, uh, maybe we have many, many batallas. How do you say batallas? How many fights? Sorry? Battles. Battles, fights. Battle. Okay, <laughs> many problems. <laughs> but and say, is maybe uh, feeling uh, sad or feeling uh, the felt, but never in the life um, show to be uh, the felt because mm -hmm. the life is is. Uh, in the life is it has it is okay that's it? it's like that um, okay it's like that okay it's like mm -hmm. that and and don't don't have option that uh, never think that don't have option options uh, always have option for uh, to be better. Okay, okay. I, I have something. My well, my <laughs> grand. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, my grandma used to say uh, something, and she says like, uh, "The only thing in, the, in, in life that uh, it you don't have like options is for that." For the rest, you have many options that you that you can um, you can you can take. It's better. Okay? It's better. <laughs> that's true. Yes, she she she's right. Because um, if we if we think about it, maybe uh, we'll be facing like economic things, personal things, uh, uh, maybe problems with in, in, in our work, things like that. But those things are um, less important. And, and we have to focus in, in the things that we really, that really matters, okay? Uh, those things uh, are secondary and also all those things have solutions, okay? Doesn't matter what, what uh, we do or, or well, whatever thing that we're, um, we are facing in our life. And let's see, um, is there here, uh, is, is someone else who wants to share something uh, with us? Anybody here wants to share something with us? Uh, teacher. Okay, sir. And uh, uh, the life is done perfect because uh, ever that it's, in the step by step in your grow in the life but it's important uh, you believe in god and you believe yourself because you can do it ever this is my advice for all the people <laughs> okay thank you thank you sir and that's the life is the life is, is not easy the life is very yeah. complicated sometimes, but depend uh, that um, how you take the mistake, take the problems. If you are a people positive, a positive people, you can opportunities. Okay? Yes, but yeah, yeah. but if you are a people. Mm, Sad people or defective people, 
the affected people, maybe you have the problem, a big problem, and never, and never can uh, you uh, see the, the thing good, uh, the, the, the dark cloud on, always in your hand. <laughs> yes, it's clear? Yes, yes, it's, it's clear, uh, Miss. And that's true. And, and that complement what Mr. Castillo was telling us. Um, something important in our life yes. is our faith. Tell me, Mr. Yes, it's a good, it's a good model from Dalea. In another model, is a don't exist world talents, only a little brain, because in the yeah. life, only in the life, every that defeats. It's important to uh, say Lea, the brain is a positive ever. It's, it's difficult, but it's necessary. Okay, I, I remember one, one saying that it says that the, uh, uh, the most difficult obstacle in our life, uh, it's uh, where we are the, the, the most difficult obstacle in our life. Okay, uh, because if we think, uh, as you say, if we think um, that um, you can do something, you can do it. Okay, if you are positive about something, you can solve those things, you can find solutions, and you can do many things. And that's good. And, and I like something that Mr. Castillo said that uh, maybe we're facing like problems in our life, but if we are close to God, um, that's something that helps us because we are going to find solutions. And, and thank you, thank you for your participations. The, those are really, really good. Um, and, and well, congratulations to all of you. We're going to um, see the topic that um, I have prepared for you. And it says, I'm good at history, okay? I'm good at history. Um, this is the, the topic and Check it out this, English words to talk about time and the past. That's what we're going to be focused on. And first of all, first of all, sorry, first of all, um, we're going to be uh, checking some words that are used, um, that are used for express ideas, okay? about um, the past. And those words are used with past, with a past simple a tense. For instance, we want to prefer something about a period of time or something that happened uh, in, in, in an, a specific a, a date. We can use ago, like five years ago, okay? We're referring a, this, to a specific period of time, a specific point in time. Uh, like five years ago, I broke my leg. Uh, this is a specific point in, in, in time. Um, oh, we can use it with some, with some other uh, purposes. Instead of saying uh, five years ago, things like, uh, well, uh, 10 years ago, one year ago, so instead of saying that, we can use it with month. Okay, one month ago, um, or with dates, three days ago, and with hours too, uh, two hours ago. So we can use it in, in those uh, contexts. And if we use it there, that means that we are identifying a specific point in past, okay? If I say uh, one month ago, that means that 30, um, around 30, 31 dates has passed since that happened, okay? Um, it says like, here, here I have uh, some of the examples with ago, and it says present year, 2017, uh, five years ago, the year was uh, 2012. Like she had a baby a month ago. That's what I was telling you. Um, we have there uh, the word ago, and we can use it with, dif with different, uh, points in time. And also it says also a week ago, two weeks ago, but no day ago instead. Um, 
Oh, this is something important, okay? We can use two days ago, three days ago, but we can use, okay, we cannot use a day ago. Why? Because we have a specific word for it. We, if we want to say a day ago, we are going to be using yesterday, okay? Yesterday. We can say, we can't say a day ago because that's incorrect. I don't know if it's clear that. Is it clear? Yes? Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. Um, and also we have another word that is last, okay? It has like the same meaning of, of ago. And uh, we can express periods of times like last week, okay? The last week, this is a period of time in past uh, and we express the, the idea I want to share last year, okay? last month, things like that. But check it out this. Um, also last month and in the last century are a, a period of time that we can use. Um, also, well, I'm going to stop here because I want to check if you um, uh, understood of him. I'm expressing in a good way these ideas. If we say last month and in the last century, um, that means that we are specifying that a period of time, like around 30, 31 days has passed, or in the case of the century, um, that's depend on the year that we are living. Um, the, the, I mean, the, the year that we are. Also, another expression in, a, or I, I mean, another word for expression in past is in, okay? How we use it? Ah, oh, well, here we have some, some of those examples that it says, she was born in the last century, okay? In the last century, in the last century. So um, that's a specific period of time. Um, also, um, in, in this one, in the previous one, we identify in a specific day, okay? And a specific uh, date. Uh, not a period. In this one, if we use in, we are going to specify a period in the past. Okay, in period in the past. If I say in the last century, that's mean that a uh, uh, well, um, one hundred years has passed since that uh, moment. Also, if I say in the seventies, that's a period of, period of time. Okay, seventies, the seventies. Okay, um, disco music was very popular. In those days, okay, that's another period of time, they were in many cars on the roads, okay? Um, also, we can use on, on. We are going to use on. It says that we use uh, these prepositions with times and dates, um, like uh, on uh, with a date could be like I start work on Monday. Okay, on Monday. If I use on and also if I use Monday uh, and I'm using a, a, a past tense, that's mean that I'm, that I'm uh, giving you an specific uh, an specific date in time, like Monday, like Thursday. Okay, the last. Uh, I mean, uh, I start work on Monday, or we can use a sentence like I start work, I mean, I start, I start a study on, on, well, it could be like Thursday, uh, Tuesday, or Saturday, or Sunday, things like that. Also, here we have on my birthday. Birthday, it, we use on with my birthday because this is a specific date. Um, and also it says, I went out for dinner. In, in, it's his wedding anniversary on December. On December. The, in this case, we're using on December because we're using a specific date. That means seventh, okay? Or seventh, okay? Uh, British people often eat turkey on Christmas Day. Christmas Day on 
We are using on because Christmas day is a specific day, okay? Like if I say like, instead of using Christmas day, it could be like Thanksgiving, um, Thanksgiving day, uh, things like that. Is it clear? Yes, no? Very good, excellent. Um, well, you are going to be in, in breakout rooms and you are going to discuss this. When we use, when we use on, when we use in, when we use ago, and when we use last. We have four words. Last, ago, on, in. Uh, the, you're going to have just two breakout rooms because it, it will be like two and three. And uh, you have to tell me after the, the, the breakout rooms, you have to tell me uh, when do we use it? I, I think that you have a lot of information with this. Uh, when we use ago, when we use uh, last, when we use in and on. Okay, so I will see you in five minutes. Okay, please accept the the invitation to the breakout rooms. Yeah, I'm jarred. The jar. It looks very fresh. Here is very hot. Oh, yes. Yes, it's hot. This this day is so hot. But well, hello, George. Hello there. Hello, Ricardo. How are you? Fine. And you? Fine. Uh, the teacher wants that we are speaking about the the example uh, ago. On and last is true, it's okay. That's right. And in and in, okay. Um, my example, I understand that we use the ego when the 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 time is long, and you use and we use last when the time is small, the last year. Um, the last week, the last, month, for example, it's, 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 it's okay, okay, okay. And uh, in ego, well, for example, um, three years ago, I live in, in for example, Zacatecoluca, <laughs> like, for example, <laughs> or okay. uh. Four years ago, I I feel very sad because I lost my father, for example. Okay. And I the last week I was for Crown Plaza Hotel because I was work with the TSE for the elections, for example. Um, nation, just give us a little example. Uh -huh. That's why sometimes we are confused. Well, principally in the mistake in the past part, this is when the, the future continue or, mm -hmm. or using the bear in the past perfect, uh, the the past, past and present continuous is the one who who is kind of complicated. Uh huh. Yes. Is uh, the 
the, the meaning is structure, but exists more structure because similar similar this uh, mm -hmm. in the similar the the chain the the, the song structure in the world, but is is uh, uh, the information is a big information. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but I don't remember because it's a it's a temp free. <laughs> it's, it's and you are the of the world or you are studying mm, just studying English studying English in another uh, in other sometimes I'm I'm looking for for a job uh, okay you work in the in the morning or all the day no, I, I don't work. I in this moment don't work. No, no. I I have finished the university um three months ago. I'm ah, using okay. the, the exercise. Congratulations. Thank you. And your what is the, the, the professional in work what what kind of career did you you have a uh, business administration business administration good in here san salvador or another yes department? in san salvador in the university do you study in the in ufg ah okay in in, in santana around in the in the in the block uh, have the university UFG too. Mm -hmm. That's uh, true. It's a it's a city. In I my don't neighbor. Know say. Mm -hmm. It's in the in the same block in my neighbor the university. Mm, that's fine. But you to the rate in the virtual I suppose. Mm, yes, the, the last year was virtual. Okay. That was my last year. It's okay. But and this moment is uh, difficult for us to, to find a job. Yes, because exists uh, many, many people, professional people, but your profession is a good profession because it's incorporated in, in, in the manufacturing too. Yes, that, that in the, let me see, like compras, buying, in, the buyer. yes, in the, let me see how to say, ingenious in English. <laughs> Ah, sewer engine. See, uh, I mm -hmm. don't know if it's possible. Uh -huh. yes. yes, it's a business administration too. Good. Uh, and, uh, and the textile, manufacturing textile. Uh, mm -hmm. I, it's possible you to uh, put the, 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 the little business uh, until in your home. Yes, it could be, but I have to have um, financial from a bank. Mm -hmm. Maybe um kind of five five grounds, I don't know. Yes. Uh, I don't remember the, the, the correct uh, word in the um, uh, mini factory, but a little factory, but um, mm -hmm. uh, the word is I don't remember. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it's uh, to innovation and some ideas or in the hobby is possible to. Uh, many people buy buy the hobby, the art, arts in different mm -hmm. um, 
So, and, and you thinking about to travel in another country, for example, Canada, Australia. Mm, maybe I was I was at the video conference of um Irish. For the uh huh, Irish. Yeah, but I had to speak full English to yes. to apply. So yes. that's why I'm here to learn more. Yes, it's possible. It's okay in your opinion, but I see the more opportunities in another country. It's yes. possible. Spain too, for example, is another. Chinese, I remember the co-worker, the, the daughter uh, to travel at Chinese in the... Mm -hmm. of this. Hi, Leah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, tell me. Uh, I was checking some some of the uh, conversations that you were having there in the breakout rooms. Uh, well, tell me, uh, when do we use? This is going to be. Uh, I will be um, asking, and you're going to be answering. Okay. When do we use a call? If you have the answer, please let me know. To when say something in the past, like days, years. Okay. Not days, years. Okay. Like a, on a specific date. Exactly. Yes, that's that's the key word. On a specific uh, date. I can say like on a specific point in the past. Okay. We use a go in a specific point in the past. Uh, very good. When do we use last? Mm. When the say, time is the, Ms. Campos? Is the, when the time is a short time. The last week, the last year, the last month. Okay. And also it is used to express in a specific point um, in time. But this one, when we use the last year, okay, the last year, uh, we also make reference to, um, to a period of time. We're talking about the past, but also we're uh, we're uh, like um, creating uh, a period of time. Like if I say the last month, okay, I'm talking about the com the, the whole month, the complete month, okay. Uh, the the last day that I'm talking about the whole date. Um, so in that case, I'm creating a period of time, but also a specific point in past. That's when we use uh, we can use it like like that. Um, let me ask you, can we say like uh, a day ago, is it correct or incorrect? If I say a day ago. It's incorrect. Incorrect. What is the correct form to say a day ago? It was yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Uh, well, what about in? When do we use in? When do we use in? In the day. When you are talking about a specific date, a specific year. Okay. Um, thank you, Miss Campos. We're going to see. Okay, what about the others? Do you agree? Yes. No? Yes? Ms. Rivas, do you agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ramirez, do you agree? Yes. Uh, Mr. Castillo? Yes, for me, in the specific day. Oh. The specific day. Okay, very good. Uh, let me show you this and then oh, tell me. Here, too. Okay, what about this? What uh, what can we infer about this, uh, about using in? If I say 
She was born in the last century. Okay, in the 70s, disco music was very popular. In those days, there weren't many cars on the road. It is on a specific day? No, it's not this specific. No, in the period. It's the a period. period of time. Very good. Yes. Okay, in this case, we are using, if I use in, okay, if I use in, I'm referring to an, uh, a period of time. In a period of time could be like five days, like a uh, one month, like the last century. Uh, for instance, if I say the 17th, like it's like 100 years, uh, I mean 10 years. <laughs> um, if I say on those days, uh, I'm referring to like maybe it could be like five years, 10 years, uh, but it is a period of time, okay? If I use in, and what about on? When do we use on? When do we use on? When do we use on? Do you remember that? No teacher. Okay, I will give you the, the information and you are going to give me example of it. Um, we use on with a date, okay, with a day. Um, so day. Okay, when, uh, um, give me an, give me examples of you, uh, when, where we use on. On, on Friday. Friday. <laughs> okay, very I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, sorry. Very good. Like on Friday, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, another example. On Friday, another example. Okay, um, we can use it with with um, with the day of the week, like on Monday, on Tuesday. Okay, we can use it uh, uh, with with those um, with those with those uh, dates. Okay, with the days of the week. Okay, we can use it uh, with the days of the week. But also, we can use okay. on. Uh, Mr. Lopez, you have your microphone open. Do you want to say something? Oh, okay. Sorry, teacher. Okay, no, no, don't worry. Okay, um, we use on if we want to refer to a specific day. Um, instead of using like the day of the week, we can use like on Christmas. Okay, that's a specific day. Or I can say on Thanksgiving, that's a specific date, okay? Uh, we can use it like that. On Mother's Day, okay? On Father's Day, those yeah. are a specific dates. So it, because they are a specific days, I can use on, okay? Is it clear? Yes, yes. it's clear. Amazing. So uh, this is this is all for tonight. Um, I'm going to see you tomorrow at eight o'clock too. And, and also, if you have any other uh, example in the platform that you haven't solved, please let me know. And we're going to be checking tomorrow. Remember that for tomorrow is the last day for sending the eighty percent of the exercises. Okay. So uh, sure. that's all. Do you want to do you want to want something else? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, what section is is the eighty percent? I'm sorry. I know you repeat it every day, but no, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, the eighty percent uh, means the the whole course. Um, you have to solve at least. The eighty percent. I don't know if you have seen like uh, you have you have like a bar in, in the platform that it says like the progress that you have. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. it is a general the, the last one the last the last uh, bar that you have there in the, in the platform. That one uh, needs an eighty percent. It doesn't matter if you saw the exercise uh, number one and the exercise number 
uh, five of the section three. No, it doesn't matter, okay? What you need is the 80% of that bar. I'm, I'm looking in my in my screen. Oh, you mean the one who said progreso? Yes, exactly. It says pro progress. Mm, okay. Yes, it says progress. There you have, let me show you. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to share the screen here. Okay, in my case, I, I don't have anything because I'm, 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 I have the, the icon of the t-shirt, but this one that it says a uh, total, okay? The total, uh, this must be 80%, uh, this one, okay? It doesn't matter if you solve the exercise uh, okay. the, in the section uh, four, the section five, it doesn't matter. What you need is the 80% in the last bar. In this one. Okay. So I, I have to finish the section five. You must yeah. finish section five too. If you get more okay. than 80, it's okay. And that's up to you. But the minimum is eight, 80, I mean, 80%. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, very good. So, uh, do you want to add something else? No, <laughs> just to thank Mr. Ramirez for helping me <laughs> every okay. time I ask. Uh... Okay, that's good. That's good. That's amazing because you are helping each other, and and that's good. I like when when groups are like that, like. Uh, have been to older classmates. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez. Um, well, that's all for tonight. Blessings to all of you. Have a nice night and um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 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 See you. Bless you.